our queens were challenged to design pride floats. Now they're ready to parade them down the runway. Are you ready to see their true colors? Hell yeah! Yes. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. Jada Sophia. Oh, oh my goodness. Something mm. wicked this way comes. I'm bringing hairy horns, the cape, and I take it off. <gasps> Look at that body. She oh. says, Karma Carrera, you're not the only one. Yes. Hunty. Drive this. Manila Luzon. Oh! oh. Is, a, is that a bomb? Everybody down! <laughs> I'm just swaying my hips and smiling and showing off my purse and having a gale time. Did you, Tina Knowles, a real pineapple? Honey, it's a TKO. You better Tina work. Tina Knowles original. <laughs> Last but not least, Raja. Oh. Yes. It's fashion week. There's yes, it is. Oh, yes. I'm really, really inspired by things where Coco and Marie Antoinette, all things sort of French. Let them eat cake. Anna Winter will run that in the spring. Yeah, yeah. even yeah. Gautier. Yeah. Remember who did that? We've got our cover. For sure. Yeah. Up first, La Ganja Stranja. That's where my hair went. Uh-huh. I am serving a lizard called Laganja. Mama, y'all can't take it. Hikaru, I can see your Blackberry. <laughs> Very I dream of genie. Oh, yes. Adore Delano. Cruella Delano. Yes. <laughs> this is how I look. This is how I work my body. And I'm serving them dead doll realness. You know, there is two sides to every story. <laughs> it ain't all just black and white. There is a gray area. <laughs> Blame it on Bianca Del Rio. Oh, that's so romantic. Poof, there it is. I am serving up skunk Cinderella realness. This is my element. I like a good ball gown, and my shit ain't from off the rack. It's very drag inauguration ball. It is. That is quite an impressive tool, I might add. <laughs> Up next, Trinity K. Bonet. Oh. Ooh. They look like dominoes. Totally. Yes, honey, she will deliver in 30 minutes, or your Whoa. pizza is free. <laughs> I look absolutely fabulous. I am serving you jack of all trades. Night at the casino fish. She's rolling snake eyes. Domino, she better do. Uh -oh. Now, sissy that wow. Bend la creme. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. Ooh. Look at those tatitas. Now, that's an hourglass figure. I'm serving some evil queen. I'm feeling the fantasy. I don't know what it is around her neck, but if it snows tonight, it's going on my tires. <laughs> Darian Lake. Blam. I own 51% of this company. I'm serving you black and white pageant eleganza. I want your eyes to cross. That's a bazoom. <laughs> Darian Lake, jump right in. Don't forget your motorboat. <laughs> Courtney Act. Oh, oh, my goodness. Yes. Talk about serving fish. Yeah, <laughs> honey, she's serving rainbow trout. Uh -huh. Klaus Nomi Malone. Yeah. Wow. I've got my fish on the platter. I am serving it to those judges. It's all come together, and I feel like I've got it right. The invitation said black tie only. Didn't say anything about pants, though. No. <laughs> ben de la creme. Oh. Waiter, there's a fly on my runway. <laughs> Be afraid. Yes. Be very afraid. Yes. I'm just buzzing down the runway, feeling the fantasy. She's got some fly choreography. Yeah, she's the fly girl. Mm -hmm. She bugging. Next up, Bianca Del Rio, cheetah girl. Can a queen really change her spots? You know the saying, big cats are dangerous, but a little pussy never hurt anybody. That is some pointer sister's hair right there. <laughs> She's so excited. Hmm. Next up, Jocelyn Fox. She's a red fox. She's a it, cock. Yes, she is. Oh. I've got my talons and my feathers, and I'm showing off some skin, and I'm feeling really good about it. I think it's some kind of jungle pussy. <laughs> From Atlanta, Georgia, Trinity K. Bonet, the phoenix. She's awfully plucked tonight. Yes. I am giving you birds of a feather flock together rims, and I look absolutely fabulous. Dress to quill. You better sissy that squawk. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Courtney Act. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Heaven must be missing an angel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Look at the size of those wings. Yes. Prepare for takeoff. 
I'm giving some regal ego. I want to see this on vlogs. I want to see this on Facebook. I ain't nobody gonna top this. Mm. I think I've died and gone to heaven. Uh -huh. yes. Baby, these girls are giving production value. Okay. <laughs> oh, why do fashion shows always start so late? Oh, oh, wait a minute, it's starting. Serving spring glamour. Ginger Minge. I've got to march the runway in front of Michelle Visage and RuPaul and Carson Kressley. I think I can see her tool. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that I can excel at anything I put my mind to. Max. Yes, darling, sell the garment. I'm making sure that I'm delivering and I get to fully portray the character. I've had pelvic exams more thrilling than this. Jaden Dior Fierce. It's very Apollonia. Apollonia six, seven, eight, eight nine. Hold it in. Katya. Oh, I do love a onesie for spring. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent use of the cape. Yes. How dull. Trixie Mattel. We finally know what happened to Baby J. My family's Native American. We grew up very, very poor. But Trixie, she has it all. The biggest problem in her life is what to wear the next day. <laughs> Miss Fame. I would read her, but she's red all over. <laughs> My strongest suit is modeling. Ideally, that will carry me to get that crown. I see a red bottom, and it's not a shoe. Oh. I'm giving you just a gag-worthy moment. Jasmine Masters. No jacket required. Jasmine Masters is bright as summer. I am here. H-E-R-E, -E, bitch, I'm here. Simple midriff. It's tasteful. Violet Chachki. Oh, dear, she has a toothache. I think I can see her spleen. Spleens are very in this year. They oh, are. Spleens are the new orange. Yeah, they really are. Kennedy Davenport. Nisha Nash. I'm old school and a touch of new school. Everything is bigger in Texas, and I fit right on in, honey. All she needs is a casserole. Mm. But not <laughs> tuna. Let's see what they're serving for fall. Ginger Minge. Ginger Minge is a plus-size diva. She always wants to look neat, petite, and ready to eat. She's like the editor of a magazine. Yeah, popular wildlife. It's so hideous, I think I'll put it on the cover. Max! Wow. I'm having Jill Sander flashbacks. Yes, right? And I like it. Very Tilda Swinton. Very. Jaden Dior Fierce. I see Shaka Khan. She's every woman. Through the fire. This is definitely a signature Jaden Dior Fierce look. I'm the other, other, other Tyra. Katya. Furs back. Yes, furs back. I'm giving you dead animal camouflage Duck Dynasty realness. Pamela Anderson, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, she killed it. She killed, <laughs> I mean, she really killed She's it. Literally. Trixie Mattel. The handbag matches the shoulder. Is that a sequence dress? That is a sequence dress. Yeah. It's like two pigs fighting under a blanket back there. Miss Fame. Wow, golden lady. It's not lame, it's lame. <laughs> yes. I do like the fascinator. I'm fascinated by fascinators. I am too, I could talk about them for days. Yes. Jasmine Masters. Wow, purple rain. Jasmine is in her purple trench coat, wear her black fur. Well, not really fur. <laughs> this small carpet I straighten out. <laughs> Violet Chachki. Looking smart oh, and oh, tartan. Get a reveal. Yeah. Oh. oh, God. Oh. oh! Bay City Roller. I'm giving you tartan eleganza. Being able to serve two looks in one is a talent. <laughs> It's okay. Kennedy Davenport. Yes, she's going back to her roots. All that green. She's sort of a sexy choir master. <laughs> yes. It's exactly what I was thinking. The realness. Category is autobiographical eleganza extravaganza. First up, Kim Chi. Kim Chi has finally blossomed into the floral centerpiece, and now she's not afraid to showcase who she really is. Avant-garde and unpredictable, come experience her ever-blossoming beauty. She's making it easy to read her, honey. <laughs> she needs to edit the outfit. <laughs> Naomi Smalls. 
As Naomi Smalls, I was blessed with two legs and a heart, and I'm not afraid to show them to the world. <laughs> what you see now is the embodiment of everything I've ever wanted to be. Share. <laughs> Isn't she filing for chapter 11? <laughs> Bob the drag queen. Not to be confused with Bob the librarian. <laughs> it's not about being the prettiest or wearing the best dress. It's about taking huge risks, learning from your mistakes, and taking advice from people who've done it already. Look, I may make waves, I may rock the boat, but damn it, we're gonna make it to shore. <laughs> Hope you like short stories. <laughs> she has a spastic semicolon. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> Derek Barry. Oh. Ooh. oh. In 2003, Halloween brought out the drag in me. For the first time, I dressed as Britney Spears. It introduced me to the bright lights of Las Vegas, which unleashed my inner showgirl on stages all around the world. Coming to a theater near you. <laughs> That's a glossy right there. She tore a page from my book, and she's wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Several pages. <laughs> Chi Chi Devane. I'm Chi Chi Devane, and I've always been a queen who uses what she has, whether it be paper or plastic trash bags. <laughs> so look out, girls. Here comes a little country queen with dreams of ruling the world. Paper shredder. Shredding that runway. Have you shred any good books lately? <laughs> <laughs> Category is Miami Summer Realness. A first, Mayhem Miller. Miami is ice, so I'll say it's thrice. <laughs> I look like a glacial goddess. I am glamorous, I am sparkling, I am the queen of the North Pole. Take that, Elsa. Let it go. <laughs> Eureka! Oh, I didn't know Eureka was from the hood. <laughs> I have a very Eskimo-style Yeti ski fish realness. And I'm serving sex puss glamour. It's so cold, I'm gonna go put on a leotard. Forecast calls for snow, you better don't. <laughs> Monet exchange. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody needs a breath mint. <laughs> oh, she's a grower. <laughs> I think I look elegant, I look rich, but I look very sexy. I have a slit all the way up to my pundanda. I want Rue to really see that I am a fashionable queen. It's prom on ice. <laughs> Cameron Michaels. Hot and candy, sweet and go. Let me see that icy hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cold in Miami, so I have the biggest, grandest fur coat that there ever has been. I am serving you the princess of the northern lights. Why isn't she in Boca Raton with the other blue hairs? Exactly. <laughs> the vixen. Me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> is she doing blow? <laughs> My Miami summer look is very into the woods. It's like I'm painting a picture for you. I want you to be into the dead of winter with me. I want you to feel cold when you see me. Make it snow. Make it snow. <laughs> Aquaria. She can clean it up in a swiffy. <laughs> this outfit represents me as a drag queen because I love an over-the-top silhouette, and I personally hand-dyed all the faux fur. I think the blend of the pastel colors is absolutely stunning, and I can tell by the twinkle in RuPaul's eye that he is learning for this. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids. <laughs> Dusty Ray Bottoms. Cuffs made of yak. <laughs> yeah, queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am serving you snow queen realness. I have the cold, frozen heart of our leader who wound us up in this mess because he wouldn't pay attention to global warming. No yaks were hurt in the making of this gown, I promise. He's got a heart on for us. <laughs> <laughs> Monique Hart. The author plays the Arctic Circle. <laughs> and then there's Mauve. <laughs> I saw the fur at the store and I said, that's the one. In these shoulders, girl, I'm going the runway. Kitty cat, kitty cat, 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 cat. Did you catch the ponytail? Giving you futuristic 22 inches, honey. I feel stunning. I can see her short and curly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I declare, Blair St. Clair. She's belting one out. Jacket on or jacket off? <laughs> I'm heating up the runway with this look. 
She's a rich bitch, and even when it's cold outside, she's still gonna look classic and stunning and all for a rabbit coat. Shh, it's rabbit season. <laughs> Asia O'Hara. Hey, Snow Leopard. <laughs> Ooh, look at those slopes. I've chosen to be very modern, fashion forward, futuristic, snow leopard, neon bunny. Yes, it is the end of the world, but a bitch is still gonna look good. I look like a boss ass bitch. I look like I own the ski resort. Now that is what we call a black diamond. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Cracker. Reporting for duty to the gayest army ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing helmet lane. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't just about cold, this is about survival. So I'm giving you Bond girl realness. She's in her icy getaway and ready to attack when necessary. I'm a black widow in pink. She's got a weapon of ass destruction. <laughs> <laughs> Category is Martian Eleganza Extravaganza. Mayhem Miller. Little Red Rides the Hood. <laughs> oh, good, they have a Studio 54 in space. <laughs> I'm here to save the day, bitch. I got a cape. I'm giving you Pepper LaBeja realness. I want the judges to know she is the one. First stop, Mars. Next stop, Uranus. <laughs> Eureka! Take me to your craps table. <laughs> I am serving you the last loaf on Earth, giving you executive realness. I am ready to protect, serve, and do business. I'm here to what? Work. Throw mama from the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> Monet Exchange. Ooh, what filter is she using? <laughs> I'ma get it, hon. Because this is the last ball on Earth. The world is going down, but I look fierce. I'm giving you future black Marilyn. I feel like I look like a million bucks, and I love this look on me. Does she have a patent on that leather dress? <laughs> no, but it's quilted for your protection. <laughs> Cameron Michael. Uh, Houston, we have a peplum. <laughs> She's trying to phone home. <laughs> the only look that I'm not super confident in is my Martian look. I think my space bimbo telecommunications director is quirky enough that the judges will enjoy her on the stage. Cell service in the Milky Way is just terrible. <laughs> oh. Can you hear me now? <laughs> the Vixen. Well, this look just blew me away. <laughs> My Martian Eleganza is pure vixen. I'm giving you disco, I'm giving you superhero. If I was going to go to Mars, I would be there to boogie. And I'm giving you superhero of the world, whatever world that is. She looks like the granddaughter of a solid gold dancer. <laughs> Aquaria. Guys, yeah, she's flashing us. <laughs> I'm giving you full villainous power in this final look. I'm giving a whole lot of body. I'm used to being a spectacle in the club scene in New York City, so I know how to make an impact with a look. I might be a bitch, but tonight I feel like that bitch. Oh, she went balls out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be back in a flash. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty Ray Bottoms. Why, I'm Glinda, the good bitch. <laughs> in Mars, it's necessary to have breath support for your breast support. <laughs> the metal is digging into my neck and cutting up my arms, but this is it. I just got to Mars, and I am throwing the first Paris's burning on Mars. Who needs a shooting star when I'm right here, darling? Planet Glitterous. <laughs> Monique Hart. You know what they say about the weather on Mars. Mm, what? You just can't plan it. <laughs> honey, this blue-green sequence looks opulent on this chocolate melanin skin, honey. I live for a deep plunging neckline. I have no titties, but bitch, I'm gonna give you the illusion. And this side leg, honey, all that good booty cheek out. Ah! I'm serving 2020 Eleganza on Mars. She's so jaded. <laughs> <laughs> Blair St. Clair. Pink hair don't blare. <laughs> oh, this old thing? It's just made with aluminum foil. <laughs> I've had a good time on Earth, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm ready for the new world. Just because it's the end of the world doesn't mean you can't look fabulous. Yes, the modeling agency sent me over. <laughs>
I, too, am a sample size on Mars. <laughs> Asia O'Hara. Here comes the close encounter. <laughs> I love when people surprise you. I did not expect her to have white balls. No. <laughs> I am serving the Capital and the Hunger Games meets Judy Jetson. As we have to leave our planet and go to another planet, we develop this appreciation for spheres. And I <coughs> cough stardust balls out of my mouth because we have been in hibernation. Turn your head to the left and cough. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Starship Inner Thighs. <laughs> Ms. Cracker. Ball busters. <laughs> Take me to your breeder. <laughs> A slinky little number. In space, no one can hear you scream, so all the noise has to be glitter. Everything is stoned and glittered the house down space boots. She's cute, but she's dangerous. I'm ready to blast off. One small step for man and one giant duck walk for queen kind. <laughs> <laughs> I said, which way is Pluto? <laughs> Bring back my girl. First up, Olivia Lux. This girl is poison, mercury poison. <laughs> I am a mad scientist with a full patent leather lab coat. My chemical experiment just went crazy and it goes up to this liquid mercury fascinator. I'm really excited to give the judges a kooky dark side. She blinded me with science. <laughs> Rosé. Dress by Miracle Grow. <laughs> I am donning the most enormous rose on my head. Yes, I'm a delicate flower, but I'm studded with thorns. Underneath the soft floral fantasy is a huge prick. Rose by. <laughs> Utica. Oh, I didn't anticipate this look. <laughs> my fascinator is a picnic basket with little bees coming out of it. And I am rocking this asymmetrical vibe. And these ants are, that are made of buttons crawling up my boots. They're disrupting my picnic. Eek, ooh, bye. She loves picnic baskets. Was that your yogi bear? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, woo, woo. <laughs> Simone Simone. Ooh. Hello, goddess. I really wanted to take this opportunity to do some activism in my drag and personify a black angelic being. Bring back my girl. Oh. And as I turn around, you see on the back, there are two bullet holes. And I put my hands up, don't shoot. It's not a moment, it is a movement. We need to continue to say their names. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Rayla Stone, Trayvon Martin, Tony McDade, Nina Pope, Monica Diamond. Now that's a statement piece. Yes, baby. Got Mick. That's gotta hurt. <laughs> <laughs> this week's one of the first times on this runway where it is 100% me. I have my signature clown white face paint back in action and a giant safety pin stabbing right through my brain with Swarovski blood dripping down. I'm a punk rock gorge, gorge. Punk's not dead. Denali. Oh, she's really on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> Always bring condiments. <laughs> I am rolling down the runway as I do best, serving you vintage diner girl realness. She is trying to woo, take every order she can and balance this coffee on her head. And I am owning my skates on this runway better than I did day one. She likes a little ketchup on her frame. <laughs> and her Larry. <laughs> Candy Muse. She's also feathered her hair. It is a trend. Uh -huh. It is. For this look, I just thought to myself, what are you always thinking about in your head? Yourself. So the fascinator on top of my head and the feathers spells out my last name, Muse. I am walking down the runway like I am in a fashion show in Paris, baby. Ain't no gray areas in there, baby. It's just black and white. That's right. This bitch is layered. <laughs>
Roxy Andrews. Look at that body. Look at that hourglass shape. It's inner tubular. <laughs> I am fixing to sell this garment, darling. I've got my big 90s hair on. I'm feeling total gothic glam. I'm feeling very Violet Tchotchke, but the plus size, thick and juicy Violet Tchotchke. Well, if a tire goes out on my car, I'll know who to call. <laughs> She's ribbed for your pleasure. Mm. Yes, she is. Alyssa Edwards. Oh. Her lips don't lie. Mm -hmm. No. That dress is a roadmap for her man. Well, I can read her lips from here. Yeah. <laughs> How? Right in the kisser. I am living. I'm colorful. I'm vibrant, ferocious. I got my dress on with the lips because you know I got plenty of secrets. I got to hold back some. I keep in the vault just in case. I want to kiss her all over. Or just kiss her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Katya. She's into water sports. Oh, it's Esther Williams' cousin, Fister Williams. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at those breaststrokes. Our cycles are synchronized. <laughs> I'm giving you a skin-tight, seafoam green, Esther Williams underwater fantasy. My waist is cinched, my nose is pinched, and my body is absolutely drenched in sweat. Her look is making me wet. <laughs> Take a dip in the cool waters of Katya. <laughs> Alaska fashion. Yes. Got to do something about that unibrow. She's got to get that plucked. This is totally blade rubber. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm wearing head to toe rubber latex geometrical severe fantasy. Um, nine parts supermodel and one part robot and ready for insertion. Why are her gloves so low? Oh, 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 I get it. <laughs> I designed for your pleather. Detox. <gasps> yes, mama. Raccoon eleganza. Now that is a thigh gap, Beyonce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My whole vibe for this look is like this Amazonian warrior goddess. And I feel really fierce. My tuck is right. I'm brilliant. I'm beautiful. Because why? I'm detox. Now that's what I call an apple bottom. Red's delicious. And tonight, it's double trouble on the runway because the category is two looks in one, inspired by Violet Tchotchke. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. Roxy Andrews. Flamenco. Yes. Sombrero. Yes. Oh. Yes, please. Oh. Selena in the house. Hello. If anybody knows anything about a reveal, she, me, her, she does. I'm serving Latina diva on this runway. Bitty, bitty, bum, bum. That's a Spanish fly girl. Katya. Ooh, Barbara Eden. I dream of weenie. Oh, there she goes. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you full Hellfire Sharon Tate fantasy. It's Rosemary's Babushka, and I feel amazing. Not tonight, Satan. Not tonight. <laughs> Detox. Dark lady. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, and there's more. Every time I step on the runway, I want it to be something different. I want to blow them away. Oh. And that's the fun of drag to me. Kung Pao. Ancient Chinese mm. secret, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Here she comes, Alyssa Edwards. Ooh, the La Croix poof. Yes. What? Oh, wow. I'm ready for my close up. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Girl, please, I've taken selfie to a whole nother level. Paparazzi who? Oh, I see why you love me, darling. That is amazing. Kodak memories. <laughs> <laughs> up next, Alaska. What? It's like a Fellini film. <gasps> what the? Oh, it's Little Pound Cake! <laughs> Little Pound Cake is the insane pageant girl. She's stunning, and I'm really excited to get to bring her to life. I think she needs some go-go juice. <laughs> Katya. Something seems really fishy here. I think we're gonna need a bigger boat. 
I'm summoning up my best Tara Reid in Sharknado. I've got the stringy blonde hair, and I'm feeling the Shark Week fantasy. They both have fabulous mouths, don't you think? Yes. And they both unhinge at the jaw. Max. <gasps> oh. Pretty. The ghost of drag present. I'm doing a jilted lover. She's stuck in purgatory as a ghost because she committed suicide by cutting out her own heart. It's very tragic. You know, a little club soda will take that right out. Now that's a heart-stopping look. Organ donor realness. Miss Fame. Oh. I wonder what's running through her head right now. Living. I've been captured by the bride of the man that I've been having an affair with, and bitch got me with a blade through the skull. She's got a splitting headache. The last time I'll eat at Benihana, Jaden Dior Fierce. Orange is the new drag. I think she's looking really ripped. What had happened was I got put in jail, and then I tried to escape to go see my baby daddy. And I didn't quite make it over that fence. It is criminal to look that good. Uh-huh. She rises from the dead once a month to meet her parole officer, <laughs> Violet Chachki. <gasps> oh, my god. I'm numb from the waist down, tuck included. I really could die, bitch. I'm giving you realness. She's got a smaller waist than Barbie. Oh, don't sneeze, honey. It's all gonna pop. Amazing. Work. Now, sissy that wow. Kennedy Davenport. Half a dream, girl. <laughs> Goodness, that's peaches and herb. I'm feeling very save the last dance fish. Vanessa Williams, guts it all up and then turn around and give them bubbles. <laughs> I'm feeling it, honey. She's really got personality, split personality. And a great ass. I think it's a little half-assed myself. <laughs> <laughs> she not already done had hers and his. Trixie Mattel, she's a little bit country, and he's a little bit rock and roll. Half Dwight Yoakam, half yeah. Loretta Lynn. My gentleman character loves Jesus, and he loves his pickup truck, and he loves this girl. And when I turn to my girl's side in my little square dancing dress, I feel adorable. I'm giving them ho down. Um, now, sissy that wow. Instead of that ho fell down. Is that a gun in his pocket, or is he just happy to see him? <laughs> so. You can tell this ain't her first time at the rodeo. Mm -mm. Ginger Minge. What's up, sass? Ooh, bam. I am stomping down this runway like a Clydesdale in heat. And honey, I am serving you some country girl realness. Queen of the double wide trailer. I flip over to my boy's side and I am trying to pick up Michelle Visage in the process. Two great tastes that taste great together. Loretta Lynn and Conway Twitty. Violet Chachki. Rama. Erte. Ooh, oh, very like stunning. It. I think he missed a spot shaving. I'm feeling like a mamacita. I'm feeling like a Spanish prostitute. And then, bam, Pablo. I nailed the look, but what else is new? You must pay the rent. I can't pay the rent! <laughs> <laughs> They'd have beautiful babies. They would. Katya. She comes from a uh, drag house divided. Meet me halfway. On one side, I'm giving you flamenco flapper. My feminine side is very coy and demure. And then, bam, it's a man. I think this one's going to be a split decision. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Now, sissy that wow. Welcome back to the Miss Charisma, Uniqueness, Nerve, and Talent pageant. In this next category, our contestants return to the stage wearing their very best Lady Gaga drag. Oh, First up, Peppermint, Grammy Awards 2016. If it ain't brocade, don't fix it. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom, giving you Gaga, Bowie, realness. Because the entire point of drag is to give the middle finger to rules of gender. I have nothing to say. I'm going to be speechless this whole time. <laughs> it's OK. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Next up, Valentina, the CFDA Awards. That was Mew Glare when Nicola Formichetti was there. I am wearing the look she wore for the CFDA Awards. I definitely see myself a bit in Lady Gaga because she carries herself with grace and glamour, but I always want to add Valentina flair to what I do. I brought my sister as my date, and we were both on the red carpet like a bunch of pissed off New Yorkers. <laughs> <laughs> Some things never change, darling. <laughs> Paparazzi love her. Next up, Eureka, the telephone video. Yes! 
guilty as charged. <laughs> I decided to do the telephone look. I just want to give them something big and glamorous and kind of risky couture. Got my titties on my chin. Cinch, pull, and tuck, honey. That's the D. Great choice, darling. I believe that was Jean de Castelbeljac who made that garment. Oh, you say that to all the queens. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Charlie Hyde's Brit Awards 2010. That's a lace front wig, I believe. I believe it is. <laughs> yes. I've chosen to wear the outfit that Lady Gaga wore for the 2010 Brit Awards. I've done Lady Gaga hundreds of times on YouTube, and I think I'm pretty polished, so I'm fairly confident. Philip Tracy made this for McQueen, and he gave it to me because I was doing a tribute to him. Don't be a drag, be a McQueen. Next up, Pheromone, the Alejandro video. Pray and slay. Oh my god, look at her cross. I look exactly like Lady Gaga in my Alejandro music video look, and I'm rocking my real hair, and I really hope that Lady Gaga lives for it. The attitude in the face is really good, and the makeup is on point, because Stephen Klein and I had an argument about it. I thought it was too much makeup in this scene. Don't cross this queen. Everybody needs a virgin to sacrifice. Can I get an amen? Next up, Sasha Velour, the applause video. Do I have something on my face? <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite look that she has ever done. A Pierrot clown, high art, Pat McGrath makeup. It is the place where art and pop meet. It's going to be hard for this not to be one of my favorites. What do you live for, Gaga? The applause. <laughs> Painted for the Gaga. <laughs> Shea Coulee Monster Ball Tour. Pause up, baby. My Lady Gaga look, it's ethereal, powerful, yet gentle and serene, and it mixes engineering and fashion. This reminds me of the film that Nick Knight did with the yellow electric uh, urine blonde. Mm. <laughs> urine blonde is my screen name on Scruff. It is. <laughs> yes. It's my password on Netflix. <laughs> Trinity Taylor, American Horror Story Hotel. Yes, Countess. <laughs> yes. This look speaks to me because I love darkness and glamour and vampires. And Lady Gaga was so seductive and sexy and brilliant in the show. Trinity, a little club soda will take that right out. <laughs> you know, they say that if you use your own spit, the enzymes break down the blood. So Good to know. Thank you. This competition is cutthroat. Nina Bonina Brown, the VMAs. 2009. Oh my god. Yes, McQueen, yeah. This was one of the biggest nights of my life. I'm serving you the black version of Lady Gaga. A lot of hips, a lot of ass, and a lot of sass. I can't see how Lady Gaga is reacting because I can't see anybody. I just love the expression in her face when she wears this outfit. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can tell she's happy. Oh, now she's on the edge of hoary. Up next, Aja, come to Garçon. Now, where did I park my car? <laughs> For my Lady Gaga look, I'm wearing a remake of her Comme des Garçons look that she wore to show that beauty has no shape. You know, I wore this because the media was saying I was fat, and I knew this archive, so I called Comme des Garçons, and I asked them if we could wear it. It's such an excellent choice. And very slimming. It's all about the waist. Oika felt. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, on the runway, as a salute to the divine Miss M, category is Mermaid Fantasy. <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines, and may the best woman win. First up, Monique Hart. From Maxine Waters to Salty Water. <laughs> Not to be coy. Mother darling, but I am serving fishy fish realness, honey. You know, getting rolled around by the pit crew is not a bad gig. I could get used to this, but Jesus, I don't want nothing to happen to my legs, though. I need to walk. Yes, honey, work that omega-3. Uh -huh. She got a fatty acid. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Cracker. Call her saltine now. <laughs> I'm serving Barbie fresh out of the box. Happy to be there, confused about why. I'm giving you a little crown and beautiful plastic titties. What do you call them? Tits. <laughs> <laughs> Those thingamabobs? Yes, I got 20. <laughs> Aquaria, 
This look brought to you by the Exxon Valdez. Black gold, <laughs> Texas tea. I'm giving you head to toe custom dripping in water and oil, slick, everything. I have blue tears coming directly out of my eyes. I can't see anything except for cyan. I'm giving the most lethargic mermaid, but in the most editorial way. She's finished. <laughs> Asia O'Hara. Ooh, from the Chernobyl Reef. Yes. <laughs> Never go swimming in Love Canal. No. <laughs> I don't believe mermaids in real life are pretty. They're half women, half fish. So my mermaid look is inspired by lionfish meets mermaid meets a sea cucumber. Having fish and tits for dinner. Oh, yes. <laughs> I think Jason's making the tartar sauce now. <laughs> Here's the vixen. Well, it's obvious she has chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> My mermaid look is heavy metal and reflective. I am spray painted, I am sequins, I am every girly thing that I would usually avoid, but I just wanted to feel full fantasy. She's looking for her friend, Annette. <laughs> <laughs> Monet Exchange. Battlestar Galactic. <laughs> Tuna Turner. <laughs> I'm giving you a beat up, tattered warrior mermaid because I'm here to fight these bitches to the top. Monet is a strong, powerful warrior mermaid fish. You want to talk about the deadliest snatch? <laughs> Stop polluting our oceans. <laughs> Eureka, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> I'm giving you the biggest, baddest, most evil mermaid of them all. I think everyone expects me to be this colorful, rainbow Disney princess mermaid. No, bitch. I am Ursula's cousin, twice removed, drooling blood where I just ate my food. Don't forget to floss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cameron Michaels. Ooh, it's one of the Reef housewives. <laughs> <laughs> my mermaid is a little vain. She's interested in herself and nobody else. I'm way too grand to look for Nemo because I'm only worried about myself. She looks fishy and she knows it. Touch this fin. Uh -huh. Touch all this fin. <laughs> <laughs> Serving the future of drag, Alaska. In the future, if you're not wearing three foot nails, you're not doing drag. <laughs> I'm serving alien princess eleganza. The higher the hair, the closer to Uranus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Detox. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh. I'm practically naked walking down the runway, and I look like a sexy silver fembot. Toy. She's serving the fifth element, the sixth element, and magnesium. Yes. <laughs> Alyssa Edwards. She's horny, baby. Girl, I got my beaded wig on, girl. I got the horns. I got the moon boots. I am giving y'all everything. Oh, I just noticed the boots. Yeah. <laughs> now, is that a fascinator on her head or a doggy bag? <laughs> Roxy Andrews. Mm. She just fixed herself. <laughs> I feel like a warrior in my outfit. It's Wonder Woman slash goddess of planet Roxy. Space age face with an Oakland booty. <laughs> <laughs> Katya. Ooh. I'm pretty sure this is my Aunt Harriet at a bot mitzvah. Ah. I'm giving you intergalactic mom. The piece de resistance of this outfit is the giant hair. It's kind of like a donut on acid. It is the most glamorous I've ever looked in my entire life. Live long and prostitute. <laughs> Category is best Judies. First up, Latrice Royale and Alexis Knight. Blondes have more hair. <laughs> we are strutting down this runway like two big old bitches that's large and in charge. Big hair, big jewels, just full on Latrice Royale fantasy. The best little whorehouse in Silmar. <laughs> <laughs> Monique Hart and she need a heart. Well, you know, they always say the eyes are the window to the spleen. <laughs> <laughs> Their jokes are cornea. Oh. <laughs> Me and my good Judy Miss Shanita Hart have our lovely avant-garde optical illusion costumes on. Oh my god, they just crossed their eyes. <laughs> <laughs>
Looking gorgeous, beat for the gods, winking at the judges. Blink twice if your feet hurt. <laughs> Manila Luzon and Aya White Luzon. Well, aren't they well suited? <laughs> I see a queen. Well, I hear they're not playing with a full deck. <laughs> Aya Wife and I are queens from the deck. She is the queen of diamonds because, hello, she's a married lady, and I'm the queen of clubs because I love to go clubbing. We are serving poker realness. We are royalty, darling. Oh, is that a pair of queens? I know it's definitely not a straight. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi Smalls and Extra Smalls. Ooh, gypsies, tramps, and thieves. <laughs> My runway look is full on share fantasy. Ooh! <laughs> She's got a lot sunnier. She's giving me a bono. <laughs> My sunny look is kind of feminine because he was kind of feminine, and the 70s were a great time for androgyny. I get to show off my wife's share, and what's a better way to honor than through love? Stupid. <laughs> Trinity the Tuck and Indigo the Tuck. You know, the McGuire sisters haven't been the same since Dottie left us. <laughs> <laughs> this is an expensive tuck, bitch. We look good in our Versace. We are twinning for the win. Move over, bitches, because Indigo is coming through. They're snatched. <laughs> Has anybody been able to find that Chattanooga choo-choo? <laughs> <laughs> Monet Exchange and Patty Cash. Monet, you look like the mother of a solid gold dancer. <laughs> Stay golden, kitty girl. Well, I know who wears the pants in this family. <laughs> we are serving New York City's finest. She's giving you a little Dita Von Teese. I'm giving you a little black chocolate Judy Garland, honey. We look good. I feel like we look expensive. And we both have the exchange family secret, a big old booty. There's gold in them there, cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Our queens were challenged to design pride floats. Now they're ready to parade them down the runway. Are you ready to see their true colors? Hell yeah! Yes. Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. Welcome to the jungle. Chad Michaels, ahoy. Glamorous. She's showboating. My outfit is fashion forward showgirl. Always beautiful, always painted, nearly naked. Star booty. She's serving the deadliest catch. Snapper. Dita Ritz in red. Oh, I love a harem pant. I'm serving float couturness. I'm not letting this boat get in my way. I always leave my mark. Honey, I pee on the runway, trust. Red sky at night, sailor's delight. Nice ass. Up next, Jiggly Caliente. My favorite color, orange. Tangerine dream. Yes. I look good. My wrap is flowing, my hair's flowing, my makeup is right, my lips look right. I look sickening, bitch. Mmm, it reminds me of Orange Julius. Mm. Or I think Orange Jiglius. Milan. Hello, sunshine. I'm feeling proud of what I created. My flow is the Milan Invasion. It's inspired by Fire Island. Boatload of wigs. It's nice to have extra wigs, though. It is, because if you end up on Gilligan's Island and you want to do shows, well. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> Latrice Royale in turquoise. The goddess of the sea. Wow, look at all that water. I just want it all to hang out today. I have this hair that I baked and sculpted and hand painted. I love those lips. She fell face first at Claire's. <laughs> now that is a Poseidon adventure. Let's get this ball rolling. Category is Rainbow She Better Do. First up, Shea Coulee. Graffiti Nefertiti. I decided to go in a little bit of a different direction than do a dress that is graffiti, and I'm just feeling this look so much. Tag, you're it. <laughs> Sasha Velour. Oh, gorgeous. Color blocking perfection. I'm giving a little nod to the Wizard of Oz and the importance of Dorothy to the gay community. Oh, honey, I am home. <laughs> Careful before someone drops a house on you. <laughs> I'm filing for section great. <laughs> 
Alexis Michelle. Rainbow bright. Yes! <laughs> this look is literal pride flag. Bright, loud, colorful, stripy. Taste the rainbow. Mm. Trinity Taylor. That gives whole new meaning to strap on. <laughs> I'm giving you gay rainbow with a dash of dark lady. I wonder what's at the end of her rainbow. I just want her ass. Uh -huh. <laughs> Peppermint. Ooh, I wonder if her rug matches her drapes. <laughs> My look is a classic pride look. I'm a classic beauty with a classic booty. And I'm working it like there is no other. This look brought to you by Skittles. <laughs> Category is... Sexy unicorn, Shay Coulee. Yes, she's the black horse of this competition. Fifty Shades of Shay. <laughs> I'm giving you dark and lovely stallion. You could just call me Nay Coulee. Thank it. Oh, does she make you unicorny? <laughs> <laughs> Sasha Velour. Oh. oh. It's the Chronicles of Dragnia, <laughs> Lord of the Hoofs. Yes! yes. <laughs> when I think of a unicorn, I think of medieval tapestries. I'm just selling that fantasy beast. <laughs> the tip of her horn is bleeding. I think this is a period costume. <laughs> <laughs> Alexis Michelle. Now, she's a real hoofer. I am a glittery gold unicorn. Look at these hooves. You know what they say about big hooves, don't you? Now that's what I call a fairy tale. She's really feeling her oats. <laughs> Trinity Taylor. She's got so much energy, it's like Lisa Crank. <laughs> it's every little gay boy's pony fantasy. Bubble gum, cotton candy, my little pony, and I live. Yeah, shake those tail feathers. <laughs> Peppermint. Horn razor. <laughs> My sexy unicorn is a space unicorn. I start to realize that my garment is a little baggy in some places, so I have to kind of move very strategically. Unicorn? I don't remember eating unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Nina West and the Sugar King. It's the insane drag posse. <laughs> it's like Skittles and chiclets. <laughs> you know, these outfits fit them to an LGBT. <laughs> I really wanted to use this runway walk as our very own pride parade. These outfits are quintessential Nina. They're inspired by kinky boots from Broadway. So they're very fun, but there's also a message behind it. And Suga is making me so proud. She is doing her best Nina West impression, which is really amazing. She's serving and turning on the runway. I love a gay superhero. Amen. <laughs> Come on, Kay. When the twins disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.